Welcome everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street. Guys, IOTX is on our radar today's video. Guys, this is one of the projects we have covered a multitude of times uh, over this year. It's actually the one we picked as our AI um, top pick for 2021, and I'm sure it will be similar for next year as well. Um, we do cover many other projects as well, of course, um, in, in the crypto sphere. Go check out our channel if you have not done so already around all the different projects and sectors we, we look into. But for me, um, I have a big interest in AI and IoT projects. Uh, as you know, in previous roles, I've had maybe working there for five to eight years in total of AI and IoT, seeing the development of that and what's to come for the future. I mean, I pretty much can see and know what's coming in the next sort of five to 10 years in regards to um, AI algorithm and facial recognition, biometrics, the ability for um, you know, deciding whether someone's getting angry or not before they even do um, based on behaviors and algorithms of voice levels, etc. cetera. Um, as well as of course, like the security element, um, passports, digital IDs, the ID ideas is something big to talk about in the AI sphere of crypto and blockchain for sure. But for me, um, ITX um, over competitors, if you like, um, has a very good ecosystem building um, right now. Um, we talked about the IOTX pad a few videos back, but um, that has been, the website's been improved slightly since the last time we looked at it. It's not fully complete yet. You can still see there's some issues with uh, visuals and, and whatnot, but they have started to put in here um, the tiered structure of how you get involved with staking and being involved in helping with the launch pads on IOTX. Um, so looking forward to seeing how that develops and if, there's a connect wallet button up here now as well it's not live yet but that'd be really cool if it links with IOPay or something else um, for us to be able to get involved in in those kind of things and also there's an application aspect here for people who want to uh, launch their projects on the IOTX system um, and the ecosystem itself um, has a lot of its own projects um, already that they've built in-house. Um, we talk about machine fire. We'll, we'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second. Anyway, they've actually got their own like physical products as well. We talked about the pebble in terms of the tracking. So data monitoring, data capturing of location, um, things like humidity, uh, weather patterns around you, your environment, etc. And of course, the more people that have this, the more data that's available, same as you know, if you've got your smartphone uh, or your browser history for the last 10, 20 years or whatever. And this has always been learning you um, to the point where, you know, when we have the transition over the next couple of years into full on biometrics and full on machine to machine learning, they would already kind of justify your decisions for you based on on your experiences and and the way you've been doing things in the past. So really interesting to see the development of blockchain utilizing IoT and AI projects. And for those that don't know about IoT, we did do a video way back um, about Internet of Things. That's what it stands for. Um, basically, anything connected to the Internet, um, whether it be a fridge, smart cameras, whatever, all interlaced together um, to work simultaneously without you even knowing. Uh, all the way to the point, for example, um, this, should, this is just one example of like a thousands that I could probably mention. Um, but it could be something like eventually when we have the the health chips inside us um, or chips in general, which are coming very soon, of course, um, that would determine maybe that you you can have a heart attack in a couple of weeks time. So then the ambulance is already ordered to your door. It's arrived within like five minutes. It's already done the analysis and the prognosis. And then you've had the operation and you're done in the same day. Um, it could be that you've got a meeting uh, scheduled, but because of smart contracts and KYC, etc., it already knows what kind of hotel you want, what kind of transportation you want. Um, and it's already booked for you. So you just sit there and then a taxi comes, it takes you to the airport, the plane's already there. Um, but it's already, it's all kind of like basically automated, essentially is what it's working towards. Um, but there's a multitude of projects. So we've got 131 projects on the IOTX, IOTX, I think they call it, sorry, I've been calling it IOTX. Um, but I think IOTX is the correct way. But they've got a multitude of different ones on here, which is actually phenomenal to see. Um, some very familiar names that you, you might know from before. I'm not going to go through all of them, obviously, because <laughs> there's uh, quite a lot to, to look through. But it's great to see more and more coming 
uh, and utilizing ITX. Some some are obviously like just exchanges listing, but that ecosystem isn't just about who's utilizing ITX as a technology, but also who's partnered with them. So it's really cool to see this development. And we're going to the price point and the chart and everything shortly, but you know, you, one of our favorite projects like IOTA, we've got Fetch AI, Matrix AI, pretty much I'm involved with anything related to AI and IoT. Um, I think it's a phenomenal time to get involved because, um, you know, the technology and the principles are there. It's just the, now the adoption aspect in society um, and more and more government institutions and companies are utilizing blockchain for sure. Uh, we did a VeChain video yesterday, for example, or earlier today in the morning um, about supply chain and AI and everything like that. So IOTX has, has a massive, um, massive opportunity to really take a humongous you know, trillions of trillions of dollars worth of a market and we talk here about the machine fire as well the integration with web3 of course web3 big topic at the moment something that everyone's trying to engage with and get involved with as soon as possible uh, but iotx are very obviously um focused on the fact that machines are taking over humans i think now there are more way more machines than there are humans um by, by a considerable amount. And of course, over the next 10 years, that will quadruple, maybe even more so than that. And it gets to a point where, yeah, I'm not talking about robots here. I'm talking about machines like IoT, right? But it's a machine at the end of the day. It's electronic uh, aspect of learning things off you and learning things off its environment. And with blockchain, of course, with that kind of peer-to-peer -peer system, if one source fails, it diverts around something else to continue its momentum and... Uh, ability to continue its service and solution to you and society so web3 is very important um, as we move forwards uh, but i think um, what's really interesting is iot iotech sorry uh, really focusing on that and let's just have a quick look at this video it's really cool um i watched it all um the other night it's absolutely brilliant i think it was last night i watched um watched this and I've really got interested in this part here. So let's just have a quick listen. I'm going to mute myself um, and we'll hear what they have to say. Just a quick snip about what's to come and their, their philosophy around AI, IoT and Web3. In, you know, uh, community, machine companies means, you know, those stops, they already been working on those innovative machine devices, uh, you know, products like, you know, 3D printers, like, you know, smart devices, like fitness, you know, device and medical devices, right? Or even just like, you know, the car, car vehicle dongles, solar panels. All those, you know, uh, projects, actually just like, you know, uh, we will help them to transition from Web 2 to Web 3. And then they will, they will be just like launched natively on our test chain for the first time and also drive the millions of the users or thousands, hundreds, hundred thousand of the users from their existing community. To the outtakes for you know for the first time to experience the Web three uh, you know benefits and start to uh, you know kind of enjoy the Web three uh, you know for the first time and we see this is, this as a unique source you know for outtakes to acquire users it's 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 not only kind of benefit outtakes chain outtakes ecosystem it will eventually kind of benefit the entire crypto industry you know this is how we kind of the entire crypto and Web three industry. We, we kind of transition from the 5% of the adoption to the 20% of the early adoption to the masses. Yeah, I think just like all those kind of pillars will help, you know, our tax ecosystem to, I mean, just like, you know, to keep growing exponentially in the next year. But we, we are not only looking at 2022. We are looking at the next decade. We will see that the, the next decade, you know, by end of 2030, this 12 trillion value market but right, how we can kind of just like lead them into the Web3 vision. It has to start with the new, you know, innovative projects. When, we, when they start their devices, when they start to build their, you know, uh, products, right? So they already kind of build in these Web3 tools and, you know, they already kind of just like bring this, you know, user ownership into, into their new product. I think that's, a, uh, that's an important part, you know, we, we want to uh, work on in the next few years. So guys, that was um, a very quick snippet from IOTEX there um, in an AMA and conversation that they had uh, and, and recorded for yesterday. And for me, um, I just want to reiterate this point. $12 trillion 
by 2030. This is the opportunity market out there for AI and IoT. And IoTex with blockchain, as well as the other blockchains that are out there that are focusing on AI and IoT, um, you know, there's plenty of room, uh, but I think it can be taken up very quickly. And as you mentioned as well, uh, the adoption progress of 5% to 20%. This is the right here, right now, in my opinion, guys. And this is why we picked IoTex out as a gem, not just for 2021, but for the future. Um, and of course, we're very early still in the days of blockchain and crypto in general. But my opinion still stands that there are specific sectors of extreme interest. Uh, we talk about energy in particular, you know, likes of energy, web and power, ledger. Um, but for AI, AI and IT, there's quite a few good, really, really good projects out there. And I think IOTEX has really advanced itself this year. I'm really pleased to see its development and I'm really pleased to see its enthusiasm and dedication to next year. And as she said, this isn't about this year or next year. This is about the next decade and beyond because this is where machine is going. This is where Internet of Things are going. This is where Web3 is going. Um, who knows what humans will be doing in 15, 20 years time, but one's things for sure, hopefully with the new kind of tokenomics aspect of life and the way we earn and learn, um, might change enough that humans don't have to work. We don't have tax. We don't have this or that. And we actually get the chance to explore things again. That's what, in my opinion, humans were designed to do. Um, but let's see how that plays out. Maybe I'm thinking too positively uh there could just be a complete mass control mechanism coming who knows but i guess that's where we have the path to choose between centralized and decentralized systems and i for sure know which path i want to take personally but guys um let's take a look at the chart smash that like button if you like what you hear and see and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already do hit that bell button as well i don't really mention that much um but if you want to be notified of when we get videos sent to you, uh, do press that and you will do, uh, you will get those for sure. Um, so guys, the chart, IOTEX um, had a very nice run up the last couple of weeks. Um, it's something I took advantage of in selling some off. Um, we will do an IOTEX staking video, which should go live over this weekend, if not Monday. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, I've had some learnings already, some mistakes that I made uh, from that. Um, so we'll go through those as well so that perhaps you don't repeat them or at least know how to get overcome those before you even begin. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, obviously this has been a really nice ride. We've had a bit of a pullback here. So just taking uh, this first jump up, let's just quickly check where we've come from and to. So a good 48%. Uh, rise there over the, over that two week period, hitting the uh, resistance. By the way, of this lower region of the buy box area that we drew previously, and we've always mentioned that this is probably a great interesting area because it touches these lower areas here back in the end of November, and clearly, clearly not ready for IOTEX to to push those boundaries, irrespective of the great work that they've been doing. But you know, price points don't always reflect the project itself. Um, you know, we got to remember IOTEX. Um, I think I was buying it around four or five cents mostly. Um, have been playing the trading game on some of these really high end options of just around twenty cents. I don't think I went as high as twenty four, twenty five. I can't remember. But it's had a very nice run up. Um, the correction was pretty much something that we anticipated because it, it, look at those jumps, absolutely incredible over that one month and a half. Uh, really woke people up to the mechanism of IOTEX, which is fantastic. And it, it emphasized that point about adoption, emphasizes about awareness, the ecosystem, uh, more and more projects are utilizing IOTEX um, you know, chain to do that. So we've had this, this bubble up, we've had the reduction down. We're now touching very interesting areas that we've seen previously um, a week or so ago. And also, very interestingly, very much around these areas here where we saw the previous J at the beginning of November. So for me personally, I think um, IOTX is very much going to try and hopefully stabilize around this 12, 12 and a half cent mark. If we can do that over the next few days, we can pull IOTX up to those next levels again around 15 cents and hopefully push those barriers. Because what we, what we really need to see now is it pushing over 15 cents, staying there maybe probably pulling it back under 15 cents again slightly to around maybe maybe 14 or so and then tailing it back up again we i think we still need to do that move 
uh, to confirm it. But who knows, this might turn into a crazy J again. We'll just have to see. But there's a few things to consider in our analysis on these aspects. So we've got the RSIs here on the 14, uh, 28 day and 90 day. So obviously if you're buying back here, fantastic. Um, and obviously you've made some gains here at least, not gigantic, um, hitting around 60. So it's very much, very nearly just under um, you know, a double position. Um, not quite fully double yet. But what I really like about this is the, st the stability across the long term, medium range and also the short term. So in my opinion, personally, it's not financial advice, but me, me as right now, I am buying IOTEX as much as I can at any kind of dip. So for me, I, I was buying it lower here around the 11, 10 cent mark. Saw it go up to 15, didn't make any trades, but now it's back down to this sort of 12 mark again. I'm like, yep, yeah, brilliant. So I think anything under 20 cents for iotex is an absolute steal. Um, we look here at the MACD. We've had the switch over obviously into a bullish momentum. It's pulled it back a bit because uh, I think we had a bit of too much over purchasing too quickly. Uh, that's probably from a few announcements and, and a few things going on with iotex launchpad and everything like that. But we've just got to be clear about here is this narrowing. Now, this is quite a normal thing to see, and I would like to see that blue line stay just above that. So that's indicating the 12 and 26 close on the EMA. Um, obviously, if it switches over, we might start seeing a bit of a, a, a bear momentum again. But I'm hoping that in general with Bitcoin and the rest of the markets that we're we're kind of like finalizing these these real big drop downs. I mean, if we just take that to down here, for example, we would say like between 30 and 70 percent correction in a in a bear move. Right. Um, and actually, if we take it down to the lowest points, 60 percent and it's pretty much there or thereabouts to where we, we where we feel it should be doing. So we've seen this nice, gradual, um, positive momentum again. And I think that's what we'll hopefully continue to do over the next few weeks. It won't be like straight up, probably unless IOTEX does some crazy announcements like they did here and here. Um, but I do anticipate that we can at least finally get some confirmation on these support lines around the 12 and a half and try again to get that 15 cents. Like I said, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we can do that. Uh, but in general, guys, I think we're going to have a really good bull run for... Um, iotex when it eventually begins and more importantly for the future of iotex like i said i think these price points whether you get them at five or 12 cents obviously depending on your momentum for the coming bull runs eventually in the next few months hopefully but irrespective of those in the future i think these price points are an absolute steal um and the project in general is phenomenal um go check our intro video to iotex we'll leave it at the end of this one and it's why we picked it as a gem and we go into thorough detail, uh, particularly from my experience in the sector and what I know is to come. Um, and yeah, I think in general, any AIT, sorry, IoT and AI projects are really, really worth getting involved and invested in. Again, it's not financial advice, just opinions, but I just think like you've got to look to the future. And sometimes just, you know, of course, if you are a trader or you're looking to make profits, fantastic. But sometimes... You also just got to look at like, what do I want to do for five years time, for 10 years time? And this is definitely, in my opinion, one of those projects that will really safeguard your portfolio um, in the years to come. So guys, let us know in the comments below if you're holding IOTX tokens. Are you staking on IOPay? On IO sorry. And what do you think about the end of bull run price prediction for IOTX? Where do you think it will be in five years time? I know for a fact that this market is gigantic we've talked about some numbers in the past about how many machines versus humans we've already discussed even again today 12 trillion dollar market by 2030 i want a piece of that pie guys thanks for watching we will see you in the next iotx video and see you in 2022 happy new year to all of you we might squeeze a couple more videos out today on some of the other projects keep an eye out but until then thanks for watching Bye bye